Hello everybody and welcome to this new video! Yes, it's the second video of the week, you didn't ever think that I could do that, right? But yeah, I've, I've got some extra time, so um, let's try this out. I don't think I'll be doing this very often, but at least once I want to try to do two videos a week. Anyway, today we're going to have a look on how to transform this photo to this photo. Which looks much better, right? So um, yeah, let's jump straight into Lightroom Mobile. By the way, yes, I do all of this on my phone. I edit all my photos on my phone, on the go, on Lightroom Mobile. So yeah, let's get straight into that and have a look how I did it. So we are now here in Lightroom and I have already adjusted the basic adjustments because there is not much to talk about here. I just brought up the shadows, took down the highlights, which here are called Lichter because it's the German version. That's the third one from the top. Down to minus 65 just to bring down the brightness of the sky and to bring out the roofs. I pulled up the shadows and I lightened up the photo a little more. The next step that I would do when editing is now go to the tone curve and this is what we're going to do right now. We are just going to make a simple S curve so that we can get back some of the contrast. We're going to brighten up the sky again a little here just to give it that punch. And then something very important is now to take down the shadows and darken those roofs because the roofs are way too bright. Now that looks pretty good, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, let's keep it around there, that looks pretty good. And then we'll bring up the blacks a little to, to give it a slight fade because I like that look personally. And yeah, I'm still not quite sure about the, the shadows, if that's enough. Yeah, that, that's good. So we've got, well, I said S curve, it's quite a strange S, but still that's pretty much what I was meaning. And that's pretty much it for the basic adjustments and the tone curve. And now we get to the actual interesting part which makes this photo look so much better. Because, of course, we want it to look like a really nice warm summer day sunset. We first are going to change the temperature over here. And we're just going to bump it up to like plus 12, is that too much maybe? Uh, I mean, let's let's keep it at 10 uh, to give it this slight orange yellow look just to warm up the whole image and then to enhance the colors of the image we shall use what here is called dynamic that is in English just the vibrance and let's pull down the, the saturation of water there that's too much let's pull down a little bit because with the vibrance we just want to affect the mid tones especially the oranges and then here in this part is where the actual magic happens this now is going to be one of my favorite tools in Lightroom and that's the dehaze tool here it's the second one from above called Dunstentferner in German and that's the one that I actually prefer the most which does the biggest effect if you check this out here it gets really hazy so of course in the other way it dehazes this image and now this is completely over exaggerated as you can see but that's pretty much what it does and we're gonna keep it quite strong like yeah 45 46 that's good because we can already see a huge difference here right now. now look at that that's a huge difference and we also want to bump up that clarity because as you can see you can get a lot more detail out of the sky with that so we'll do that and also a good effect you can get from skies is uh, with a nice vignetting we're going to do this about to minus 10 you can now see at the top right here you can see that the sky gets naturally darker because of the vignetting and just that in this situation now I almost think it might be too dark I'm not quite sure yet but yeah, that's main, that, these are the main steps because this is already way better than it was at first as you can see right here. It's a very big difference already. Uh, but something else that I really like to do to enhance the feel of a photo like this one is split turning right here. Because we, as I said, want to make this image look really warm and also the sky can be a little pink. So we are going to bring up the saturation of somewhere some tones in between 20 and 50 I'm not quite sure yet which one we just take one that looks good um, that's quite pink that looks pretty good is that too pink uh, let's bring it down a little um, that's pretty good actually oh well maybe it's too much that's fine so this already looks like a way better sunset than before if you check this difference out and also we want to go to this mix tab it's the HSL tab for the colors where you can change the hue of each color the saturation and the luminance and we want to change blue 
to become a li little more teal just to give it that turquoise look which I really like and also we want to bring down the saturation a little because at the top that that's too much like let's bring it down that's too little I think that's good and maybe the luminance you just play around with the luminance to check out what it does Basically, the luminance just changes the brightness of the color, but I personally think for the blue, it's fine where it is. And we want to change the yellows a little, because I want the yellows to become more orange. So we're going to change the hue this way. Now you can see they're pretty red now, so we'll not do it that much, yeah. And maybe bring up the luminance, check that out, if that does anything good. Yeah, I think I like that effect. That's like a, a bright effect of the sun. I personally like it, so I'll keep it. And the orange is... I think we can bring a little to the reds, but not that much, like, yeah, that's fine. And here, nah, we won't touch the luminance on this one. And, uh, and concerning saturation, I personally think that everything is fine in this image, and that's pretty much it. I think we have more or less recreated the image that I showed you at the beginning. So as you can see, this is the before. It looks quite boring, actually, it's nothing special. But with good editing, you can actually make this image quite a good bit better. At least I think this is much more interesting now. Something I would actually change now is the roof. It's all too dark. Let's bring it to about here. That's uh, here. That's good. So now this is pretty much how I would post the image on my Instagram or upload it to my website or wherever, or show it in a video like this one. And yeah, that's basically it. And that's pretty much it for this week. No, wait, no, 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 not for this week. I'm gonna see you on Saturday again, I hope. Uh, at least that's where my actual video uploading schedule is. Uh, I don't actually know when I'm gonna publish this video, but it's probably gonna be before Saturday, or at least not Sunday. So, um, yeah, I'll see you on Saturday, I hope. And yeah, if you like this video, then don't forget to leave a like. In case you found any valuable information in this video, don't forget to leave a like. In case you enjoyed the tutorial, leave a like. And if you found any other reasons why you would leave a like, leave a like. And yeah, in case you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.